Also, we don't get our first choice for a really long time. <laughs> Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly anybody here. Huh? Can't do France, don't people speak French? No, the, it's it's French Canadian and Jen would get really mad at me if I did like a French Canadian accent. I'd just be making fun of her accent. <laughs> Where's your strong manly bodybuilder bird? I've already kind of done like the suave manly one route. Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands back in a dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? <gasps> he looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything to do with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Butters Randy, a sophomore. What about you? Your... Nageki. Fushi Hiro Nageki. Freshman. Is this a Sebastian equivalent? <laughs> Fujishira Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice? But he seems kind of sad. I'll have to dial up the sad next time. Cute shy bird! <laughs> oh, butters. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, uh, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. <laughs> okay, what what voice do we give Yuya? Oh god, I'm running out of voices already. Asmir Pigeon. Yep, Nageki is Asmir Pigeon. <laughs> um, I don't know. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? Oh, my brother. You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... <laughs> Slow footsteps. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man Sazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. <gasps> you heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Huh? <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. I mean, how can you not tell that they're brothers? They look identical in pigeon and human form. This fantail pigeon is Suzaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. I don't like this bean bird. Him, I want him. I knew you would, Funk. You're Randy, right? Uh, how, how did you... You're a human, first of all, Randy. Can we, keep in, can we keep that in mind? Like, if you heard, like, oh, hey, the only human at this school is Randy. <laughs> you know who it is. <laughs> I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sequoia's? 
Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that a stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. A genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Every birdie. Yeah, no. Literally every time it's going to say every birdie. Does he commit or is he a player? There's only one way to find out, Bunk. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. Twisty business. Mike, are you being birdist? That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go see if he's still there. Now that I think of it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. I excuse me. Nobody's here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. Riora? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird, did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Riora, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethelper, try. Lucio benzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? Doctor! I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? No, thank you. <laughs> Twisty business should have been her name. <laughs> This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, psittacosis, or even worse things. I never heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? Strange danger. <laughs> you don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? I heard Ryota Quara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. That's their human soda. Um, that's not far off. <laughs> ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh! I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for basketball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching birds hop around. <laughs> also, you're on a track team with all birds. <laughs> I think there are club rooms on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. I'm not reading the other subtitles. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> anyway, I'll let you read those. <laughs> He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Okosan! <laughs> this is his human sona. <laughs> this is his human portrait. <laughs> this is Okosan. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think? Either way, he's hyper. That's all we're gonna tell you about him. <laughs> His dialogue's so good. He's still a bird. He's even more of a bird. <laughs> Betrayal? It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. Okasan is the best. What's wrong with it? 
Okasan used wing attack. It's super effective. Cool. <laughs> I'll let you catch up. I want this guy as our plan B. <laughs> this is the best goddamn game that has ever been put on this dumb rock of a planet. Yep. Cool. <laughs> Achieve true pudding. <laughs> and he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. Here, wait. I'm gonna save. Because we don't super want to do that again. <laughs> We didn't get a choice in that whole thing. <laughs> so, pudding equals speed. What doesn't pudding have to do with the track team? I know. As you know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can, but if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. We don't wanna go home, we wanna date some birds. Cool! Okasan only has time for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shirogane? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism ho! Don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the... Our first choice. Our first choice, everyone. So, we can... We know what birds these are for. Um, also, despite what it says, you do have to choose one. Run faster than the flood. Oh my god, no, Ben's tweeting about me rude. <laughs> Listen for the coos. <laughs> Okay, who are we? Ch okay, so we've got um, Sakuya, the mean, suave bird, Okosan for the track team, and library staff for Asmir Bird. Um, I don't think you need to draw poll it. We only have like two votes so far. More cooing. Yeah, if chat's not too busy, I think we can do this. Okay, so we've got two votes for track team right now. <laughs> okay, we got library bird. So I ha- I- <laughs> You can't vote twice. Mean bird. <laughs> Cough library- Okay, okay, but now we're- Now we're two, two, and two. Now all of them have two. Track. <laughs> Okay, Mike. Oh, you might have. I changed vote to double bird? What's double bird? Mean bird? Bully bird probably has such a soft heart. Okay, are we, are we going back to student council? As far as a bird heart goes. It's true, Scooby. Okay, so I think if I'm reading this right, we have two for library. Think about it. you want an intelligent bird. Double bird is the guy whose persona is a bird. Okay. Okay. I don't remember names. That's Okosan. Okay, yeah. We gotta go track team. That's track team's winning. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Okay, so this means we are now focusing on Okosan for the rest of the game, probably. We might be able to get away with not, so we can see if we can change halfway through. We'll see. Attend? Um, so if we really want to impress Okosan, we could maybe do gym class. But I will say, so I think each class improves your stat by like five, including vitality. It doesn't scale. Nobody loves us library folk. Oh. 